It is very important. And I think that t there's been a, a hit out there for years that well tech folks aren't very strong in the, the people skills department. Um, you know, I've seen instances of that. I think we all have. I've, I've also seen people in management level who, for whatever reason, got in the management level and had hideous people skills too. So there's, there's a whole lot of spectrum based behavior or whatever. But I think that when it comes to the soft skills, I think it's defining what those skills are. Because too often what happens is somebody makes somebody mad. Person A makes person B mad, especially if person B is the manager. One of the first cards that person B will throw out is, oh, person A doesn't have the people skills, you know, because they made that person mad. That can actually be a manifestation of a classic example in IT of, well, you need to do it quickly. Well, I can't do it as quickly as you want because I'll throw something out there and it'll come back to bite us, you know, that technical debt thing. And, and then you start running around, you know, who's right in the political issues. But so defining what important soft skills are, yes, very important. Some people will say project management is a soft skill. I, I see project management as a hard technical skill. I mean, that's, there's art to project management, like there's kind of art to anything. But I mean, you need to know your project management steps very well. And we outline those with Project Plus. Uh, but soft skills, I would argue, I, I think uh, writing is a good one, very important. I think the ability to present is a really important one. And by present, either informally or with PowerPoint slides in a formal situation. But how to address people, and, and this one here is a soft skill that I never hear people talk about enough. Uh, it's the idea of knowing how to communicate. Uh, and I don't mean how to communicate like, you know, okay, you know, comb your hair and, you know, you know, brush your teeth occasionally. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about if there's an issue that comes up, what is the most appropriate way? What is the best way for you to communicate with a person? Do you just throw an email out there? Do you text the person? Do you pick up the phone? Do you march into the office? Do you arrange to actually, if you're in a remote situation, well, I've got to arrange a meeting and fly over and communicate with that person in person or what? How do you best communicate an issue? This is very important when it comes to incident response. It's very important when planning something out or implementing a plan of the best way to communicate. It's, trust me, people, I've, I've often heard it, well, I sent an email about it. It's like, well, you know, it, emails are really easy to ignore. If there's a really important issue and people don't want to handle it, oh yeah, I'll get to it tomorrow, or oh, I didn't see the email, and all those kinds of games. So you, the appropriate medium of communication to use is a very important soft skill. Uh, and it's something that uh, is actually should be easier for IT professionals, because we should anyway have mastery over all of those means. We understand voicemail and telephony, and we understand email and uh, Slack, uh, you know, instant messaging and texting and all that better than the average bear. Uh, it's just now basically how appropriately can you use it? <laughs>